Welcome to Train Sim World. We are delighted to offer you the position of railroad engineer on our Keystone subdivision. Your application was outstanding, and we are excited about what you will bring to the daily operations of Cumberland Terminal. We would like you to commence immediately, and will provide all required training at our Cumberland facility. Hand-eye coordination is critical to operating locomotives on a railroad. Look down at the ground, up at the sky, left and right. There are many things that are not operated from a locomotive cab, so you'll be on your feet for a fair portion of the time. Stretch your legs for a few seconds to get warmed up. That's the physical portion of your training complete. Head over and climb aboard a locomotive. Open the cab door and proceed inside. To take control, you'll want the engineer's seat. Head over and sit down. When sat in the engineer's seat of a locomotive, the driving heads-up display will appear in the bottom right corner. This HUD shows key information about the state of the locomotive while you are driving. The dials on the right display brake system pressures. Along the bottom are the direction, throttle, and brake type indicators. Finally, the exclamation mark on the left is the safety warning indicator, known as the alerter. This will illuminate when something requires your attention and must be acknowledged. Safety always comes first on the railroad. So to start with, we need to let those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. There are three key controls to operating this locomotive. The reverser, brakes, and throttle. The reverser determines direction of travel. Put this into forward. To the left is the auto brake, which applies brakes along the entire length of the train. Let's move this to release. We're about to move, so make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Remember, safety first. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive and the cars. Always start off nice and slowly. Increase the throttle lever by one notch.
You're moving. Great work. To maintain a constant speed, move the throttle back to its idle position. While driving, you may wish to view the train from the outside. You can do this by switching to one of the many external cameras. Have a play with moving the camera around while the train is coasting along. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop. Move the auto brake to initial reduction. As with applying power, too much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train and its cargo.